Heavy fighting continued throughout the night as U.S. Marines continued to push towards the capital city in pursuit of Khaled al-Assad. Sporadic fighting can be heard as the bulk of al-Assad's forces fall back towards the presidential palace. Command, this is Lieutenant Vasquez. War pig is en route. We're not missing this party. Already. Oh, okay, this is the one that has a sniper. I knew one of those. One of these has a sniper. Cause I'm so awesome with it. I mean, we all know I'm awesome with the sniper. Uh, like, I mean, look at this skill right here. Sarcasm, you know. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, uh, what I was talking about was the online and uh, you know I had dial-up for the basically most of. Call of Duty 4, uh, I got high speed around the time World of War came out, that, that Christmas actually. Uh, so, but I did go back to play Call of Duty 4 quite a bit and I put a lot of hours into it. And I still play it to this day, mostly on the PC, but uh, I did take a, a shot at it when I got this game on PSN. And uh, people actually still play it. I mean, obviously, it's not as big of a community as. You know, the latest games like Black Ops and, uh, you know. Oh, did I have double kill, I think. I think. Okay. But you know, like when, when it comes to Call of Duty 4, I mean, a lot of people, I mean, that's how this, a lot of this commentary stuff really started. You know, with uh, Hutch and uh, C Nanners and all this stuff. It really started with commentaries about Call of Duty 4, which now stemmed into not just, not, not just, you know, Call of Duty. Now it's all types of games. I've seen commentaries for everything. Minecraft, uh, MMOs, I mean, every friggin' game type you can imagine. I mean, I'm sure there's friggin' a, a, a commentary for uh, my horsey and me too, you know? <laughs> it honestly wouldn't surprise me. Uh, so, it, you know, this game, I think that's why it, it, it resonates a lot with, with a lot of people, is that, uh, you know, the online was really fun. And it was the online aspect of it that really gave people like Hutch uh, a reason to commentate or try this commentating thing on YouTube because it, it really lends it the type of it, the fast pace uh, you know the fast paced action of this of this series really lends itself well to uh, commentaries you know because a lot of people want. Want to see these, you know, trick shots, and and um, but uh, obviously when I say they want to see these trick shots, I'm not obviously talking about this current gameplay right now. Uh, but you know, they want to see all these trick shots and things. And uh, Call of Duty is probably one of those games that really uh, works well uh, with that. Which is why commentaries, you know, Call Call of Duty is like uh, obviously that's the reason why it's the. Uh, Holy frick, everywhere you go, those dudes! Every, holy crap! Can't even freaking finish your sentence. Wish I had more ammo though. I'd have to put snipies down soon. Oh, oh, I think I did it. But, you know, like, like I said, uh, and uh, right there, until uh, you know, like commentary really started with this game. Now it could be wrong, and uh, it could be a uh, other game or another series of games, like maybe Counter Strike that started it. I don't know, but uh, it really became popular when Call of Duty 4 came out, 
and uh, it's been like that ever since. So, besides the awesomeness of the single player, and then the obviously the addictiveness of uh, you know the online, it also cr oh crap, oh crap, oh he got me ammo I think. Did he? Yes. Yes. I got the ammo. I got. Oh crap. Freaking. I mean, it's unnormal and they still freaking throw grenades like crazy. <laughs> so, I mean, there's a lot of aspects to this game with, with regards to, like, the uh, online. I mean, just the game in general. Like I said, the single player is pretty awesome. Online is addictive and awesome. And then you know, create basically create all this YouTube that now people are actually getting paid by like machinima and stuff to do. You know, these guys make careers of it, and they they have to really thank Call of Duty, Call Call of Duty Four. You know, and despite how maybe the franchise has changed, maybe for the better, maybe for the worse. Uh, you know, obviously, I like I like the more simplicity of Call of Duty 4's multiplayer in World at War, since it was basically the same type of uh, kill streak, you know, setting like the way they did it. Uh, my favorite, as far as kill streaks are concerned, is Black Ops. Uh, they have you know the the expansiveness of the kill streaks, uh, you know, the customization of it. Yeah, I'm gonna keep playing this. But they, uh, for the most part, is fairly balanced. I mean, you could say the RC car isn't all that balanced, and you would probably be right by saying that. Oh, because I use it quite a bit when I uh, I get pissed off online. I want to noob it up a little bit, then I'll I'll enable the RC car and my kill streak and use that. But for the most part, it was balanced, and I like the. Uh, Go, you go down, just like freaking Jason fucking Vories right there. Uh, boom, boom, boom! Oh crap! Whatever. Oh crap! I think I was hitting dudes in there, not too sure. <laughs> Sound like I was hitting the monster or something. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, you got jelly on the screen or whatever the hell you have on your screen. You gotta hide like a bitch, and that's what I did. That's what you gotta do. Checkpoint reach, good. That's awesome. That's the problem with this too. Is that the to be good at Call of Duty and you know some people say, well, it's not that hard. Yeah, you know, maybe they're right, but to be good at Call of Duty, especially with all these young kids online now uh, who have all kinds of time to play these games, uh, you know, me being 27 and and having a full-time job and you know, it's difficult to really keep up the skills. Because I don't have all kinds of time like I used to to, you know, play and just keep playing, and keep the skill level up. So it makes it difficult playing online, you know. And let's face it, I mean, you know, a lot of these kids are not not only because they have obviously a lot of time to practice, but a lot of these guys are very quick. You know, they're very good. You know, they've grown up with this stuff. And, you know, obviously we have too. To an extent. I mean, I grew up with, uh, you know, the NES. And I, I, I did play, you know, Atari and stuff like that. But my my system growing up was the uh, NES. I remember having the uh, uh, Mario, Mario Brothers Duck Hunt cart. That was my first system was the NES. 
and never in a million years would I think that I would have not one but three systems and a Game Boy you know and I'm gonna be getting a Vita someday soon uh, I'm waiting to see if they're gonna do a price cut on that uh, but you know going from the NES and and uh, I remember I had like I think at one point ten games and I thought that was amazing it's like wow I had so many games you know and now I have uh, I think on the PS3 only I have like 28 games most of those are exclusives I think I have about 16 or 17 exclusives and uh, on Xbox 360 I probably am hovering in the 200 range uh, a lot of that is actually thanks to my uncle who owns a video game store I used to he doesn't own it now he actually sold it uh, uh, unfortunately uh, he had to sell it. I can't remember why he had to, and holy crap, I think he's gonna shoot shit. Nice. But he, you know, he ran into some financial problems, he had to sell the, the game, the game store, so, uh, my main source for getting games cheaply is gone, so I now I have to go to GameStop or Walmart and scrounge through the bargain bin and hope for some good deals and mo let's face in most cases that's not gonna happen but you know that's where most of my Xbox 360 collection came from and uh, you know like I said going from the NES uh, which by the way I picked up probably around 50 games total uh, a little later on probably when I was a teenager uh, but you know like to have like to say I has like 200 Xbox games, I would never, ever, ever think that would be the case before. You know, if my, my kid self could see me as an adult and uh, no, look at the collection, I think he'd be kind of amazed. And of course, you know, I have the Wii and I probably got around 30 games, which, you know, it's not hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I wasn't paying attention. I got crushed there. So never, never highlight. And it better not make make me freaking like do a whole freaking section over again. Okay, thank God. I think I'm probably gonna make a video at the very end just to show you all the stupid shit that happens. Uh, like when I first started doing this, I was actually thinking of. Uh, you know, because I'm basically uploading, or at least I plan to upload chapter to chapter, and I was thinking just if I really mess up just to remove it. But no, I'm not going to do that because, first of all, you know, who friggin' doesn't die while playing games? 